Hello everyone. This is a short video I wanted to make of my aquarium and a new filtering system that I have been experimenting with and have now installed. Uh, <clears throat> basically to start out, this is just a, a regular planted aquarium set in a 30 gallon container. Um, it is a soil base. Uh, that I have for my fertile grounds it is being held down by a layer of sand so you might be able to see there at the bottom uh, I also have some driftwood in there and actually that large piece of wood that makes up uh, most of what you see in there uh, was a piece of driftwood that I got uh, cleaned up and treated uh, and I got it set in there now uh, I have a couple of, well, everything that you see, all the green that you see in there is all live plants. I have some aquatic uh, plants down at the bottom, some wild, some from the store. Uh, I also have some moss growing on top of the wood, uh, as well as some house plants that I set in there, and they've grown and set themselves right right along in place uh, now basically uh, the filter that I got in there or the main part of this aquarium um, is that when I started setting it up I was trying to make as natural or as naturalistic of a setting as I could uh, as I often do with my little aquariums or habitats that I can that I like to create uh, and this was no different uh, although that I did start looking at uh, methods to filter the water because uh, with the planted aquarium uh, I didn't want my water to uh, just sit there and and, and well using a uh, the traditional aquariums up top you know I just wanted to try to mimic the natural one so I thought of filtering the water through uh, the ground that's the bottom layer there through the sand uh, in turn uh, being able to take all the uh, all the extra resources down into the ground uh, hopefully the plants can use them as fertilizer uh, and thrive themselves um, not only the the fish waste but uh, several plants that I had put in there that didn't do so well ended up dying and or just uh, fading off you can see some there at the bottom some of the red is dead plant matter that eventually uh, disintegrates into the ground uh, that's kind of the idea what I'm trying to to get all together um, and just, you know, uh, try to mimic a natural setting as much as I could. Uh, now, originally I did put a carbon and dioxide diffuser, as you can see at the bottom right there. Uh, that was to help out some of the aquatic plants get going. Um, I used it for like maybe half a month, maybe like two, three weeks. Uh, the plants, um, some of the dead plants that you see are parts that have fallen in from the terrestrial plants. The aquatic plants have been doing really well, so I haven't uh, ran any more CO2 through the diffuser. I was just kind of like to get it started. I'm hoping the aquatic plants also provide a, a higher level of oxygen in the water. Uh, but to compensate for that, I'm also dropping the water from above. Uh, and hopefully getting more oxygen into the water now how this works on this is I have the water being sucked through the entire bottom level uh, through the sand and it is being brought up through a hose that you will see on the right corner there right by the diffuser uh, it's a, a clear hose that goes up top comes around and drops the water back in 
Uh, none of that has worked out pretty good because it waters my moss up above the, up on top. Uh, it drops the water in and, you know, kind of creates part of the cycle that I'm looking for all together. Um, uh, now I've had this setup going, I'm going on about, um, uh, just over, uh, three, almost four months now. Uh, I have not changed the water since. Uh, I need to add water. I, I believe, uh, that little, uh, cave that you see under the piece of wood there used to be, uh, covered in water before. Uh, but I have been monitoring the level of nitrates and ammonia in my water. Uh, I do keep doing my pH tests. Uh, and it has been neutral. or It has been all keep, keeping to a good level uh, since. I will continue to monitor that. Uh, but also, I do want to... I'd like to add some more plants in here. Uh... But, uh, and definitely I, I do have some stuff planned out for this tank. I do need some changes that are coming for it. Um, but I will try to keep, uh, keep you posted and keep the changes coming. Definitely a lot of fun little things to see in here. Uh, every once in a while, you know, it gets, it gets pretty interesting in there. So I will definitely, uh, keep posting more videos and... Yeah, if anybody has any questions or comments, please do let me go know down below. Thank you, and I will see you later.